What up? It's day two, and I am accompanied by these two youngins. Actually, they're older than me. I may have these two oldies. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, and today we're heading to the Yukimatsuri City in Sapporo and in Otaru. So you guys are gonna be able to see both of those, and it's gonna be awesome. This is day two of Odigo 47. Hashtag Odigo 47. So right now we are heading towards uh, Susukino, which is where the um, ice sculptures are, which is part of the snow festival. And um, I forgot to mention, Odigo 47 stands for uh, me, because I'm going to go to all 47 prefectures in, in Japan, so this is only day two, the first prefecture. So I've got 46 more! Kanbaru. So before we start the day, of course, we need konbini food, right guys? Yeah. So the snow festival starts right over there. Can you guys see? It's a little bit far, but I'll take you guys over there to show you guys all those cool uh, ice sculptures. So many cool ice sculptures. There were ones made by companies. There's ones that are really intricate. There's ones that are scary. There's ones that are cute. Ones that are funny. Ones that were. There was like a dragon that was scary. <laughs> Chris, give me There's, the dragon. I like the dragon. I thought the dragon was cool. That was the coolest one. So I guess from the, on their perspective, it's cool. <laughs> My perspective, it's scary. Chris, you're the dragon. But um, yeah, there's really cool. Uh, many uh, tourists come here during uh, February to see this uh, Sapporo's Yuki Matsuri, Yuki uh, Festival. So I strongly suggest coming here in February, uh, around mid February is when it usually takes place. So um, yeah. So a uh, strong suggestion from Rachel is to get Kaido. Kaido! We brought a box of 60. So basically, they're like heat <laughs> bags that you can just like paste on your body. You, 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 don't, you don't paste them, they're <laughs> sticky. You just stick them to your clothes, you're not supposed to stick them on your body. They'll stick them on your body. Yeah, she, yeah. she literally filled her body with them. Actually, Susukino, this area, is, oh, we're actually kind of in a, in a red light district right now with all the snow festivals, where the ices are. But um, Susukino is actually where all the clubs are, the bars are, and izakaya. So, if you're here for like nightlife, you should definitely come to Susukino. Yeah. Now we are on our way to um, Odori, which is like where the other snow festival thingies are. And actually, they're like all powdered snow. They're not ice. It's powdered snow, big, big, big sculptures. So different style, but um, just as cool. So we finally made it to the snow festival here in Otaru. There's Rachel and June, and there's food and everything. There's the big Titan guy up there, if you can see him or not. <laughs> So we just saw dragon, 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 dragon ball. <laughs> See. That's not how it goes. Okay, you go, you then you. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, it goes, goes. Dragon, dragon, dra dragon, dragon ball. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I was here at nighttime, and at nighttime from six o'clock every day, there's a slideshow. So I'm gonna show you guys the slideshows. It was really cool. Um, they kept on changing. Um, like, uh, how do you say, a bunch of the holograms on the snow were really cool. Um, and then after that, there was also a show, a rock concert. Um, and there's also another show at the other castle, it's Winter, Winterland or something, that's I said on the sign. Um, yeah, so basically at nighttime there's a whole different show, so I would definitely suggest coming in the morning because you can see the snow in different kind of light. And it's really cool to see in the morning and at nighttime, so definitely come to both times. So we got some crab and seafood soupy ramen because uh, Hokkaido is famous for its crab, so we had to get some. Alrighty, so that is up for the uh, first half of the day, and then second half of the day we're going to another snow festival in Otaru. Yeah, lovely! We finally made it to the JR Sapporo Station. So if you guys didn't know, the JR Sapporo Station 
is in kanji and the chikatetsu sub procession is in hiragana. Interesting fact. Yeah, so this station is actually really big. I'm actually pretty surprised. Look at all these people over here. Wowza! Joe didn't do it again, man. Do that again. Do that again. I see that. Oh, yeah. So we're on the boat right now, and um, they have heated seats on your butt. My butt's really warm. I got this nice parka. I'm really warm. You guys warm? I am. I'm warm. Yo, this is gonna be a war, man. Strangers next to you. Yeah, these guys from Hong Kong. You're gonna be on YouTube. Oh my god. On the YouTube. Oh my god. So as you guys can see, that was the Altaru Snow Light Festival and it's snowing so hard. There's so much snow. I have snow everywhere. Snow. And look at my camera. It's like snowed. Literally. My hair is snowed. Oh yeah, we're on our way back to Sapporo, thank God, because it's freezing. My hands are dead. Alright, so we are chilling off in a garage, getting all the snow off. Heading back out over there with all the snow. Um, yeah, so today's almost come to a wrap. It's been a long day. And uh, tomorrow, day three, is going to be Nobori Betsu. So we're going to hit up the onsen. Thank God because we're for a reason. Hey guys, so uh, we are finally made it back to Sapporo Station. So that will be end of day two. Uh, Odugo 47, all 47 prefectures. So uh, follow um, each day because I'll be taking you guys to all 47 prefectures. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.